CRISPR, a revolutionary gene editing technology, has been hailed as one of the most important biotech discoveries of the century. But behind the scenes, a fierce legal battle has been raging for over a decade, with scientists and institutions fighting over who really controls this incredible tool. And now, two Nobel Prize winners have just made a shocking move. They want to cancel their own CRISPR patents in Europe. Why? Let's break it down. Emmanuel Charpentier and Jennifer Doudna, the Nobel laureates behind the CRISPR discovery, have asked to cancel two of their key European patents. These patents are hugely important because they affect who can collect the lucrative licensing fees for using CRISPR technology. So, why would they give up patents that are worth so much? The dispute over CRISPR has been going on for years. On one side, we have Charpentier and Doudna, who were awarded the 2020 Nobel Prize for discovering CRISPR. On the other, we have Feng Zhang from the Broad Institute, who claims to have been the first to invent it. The Broad Institute won the battle for CRISPR patents in the US, but Charpentier and Doudna were holding strong with their European patents. Until now. These patents have been critical in giving Charpentier and Doudna the upper hand in Europe, where patent laws are different. In August, a European appeals board made a damaging ruling. They said Charpentier and Doudna's earliest patent filing didn't explain CRISPR well enough for other scientists to use. Essentially, the board ruled that their patent wasn't detailed enough to count as a proper invention. Rather than allow this unfavorable ruling to stand, Charpentier and Doudna's legal team made a bold move. They're preemptively canceling their patents before the ruling is officially recorded. It's a strategic move. They're trying to avoid having that negative decision on their record. Think of it as a scorched earth tactic. They're sacrificing their own patents to avoid a permanent loss in court. This decision affects the entire biotech industry. Companies like Adita's Medicine, CRISPR Therapeutics, and Intellia Therapeutics, which rely on CRISPR, are left wondering what this means for their future. These companies have paid for rights to use CRISPR, and now the patents they're relying on are being canceled. In Europe alone, hundreds of companies, universities, and organizations have been paying for licenses to use CRISPR. Some, like the Finnish biotech company Stemsite, have been paying around $15,000 a year for these licenses, licenses tied to the very patents that are now being revoked. So, what happens next? The cancellation of these patents doesn't mean the end of the CRISPR story. Charpentier and Doudna still have other CRISPR patents in Europe, and new ones are pending. Plus, the battle over who controls CRISPR is far from over, especially with pending appeals in U.S. courts. It's a long-running saga with no clear end in sight. But one thing's for sure, the fight for CRISPR's future is heating up. As CRISPR continues to transform industries like healthcare, agriculture, and genetics, this legal battle will shape who controls the technology and who gets to benefit. Whether it's creating genetically modified crops or developing cures for diseases, the stakes are incredibly high. Want to stay updated on all things CRISPR and biotechnology? Hit that subscribe button and don't miss our next video on the biggest biotech breakthroughs. Thanks for watching.